WFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Uh, if you're watching out there on YouTube, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us out immensely. Uh, if you missed the last show, I was joined by Basil Chapman of the opening call in the Tiger Technicians Hour, which is on TVNN. Every day the market is open at 10 a.m. Uh, go give that a check out. It's going to be on our YouTube channel afterwards. He always has fantastic insight. And if you haven't yet, check out his newsletter, The Opening Call. Again, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee for all first-time subscribers. If for whatever reason, it doesn't work out for you. Take a look at the E-mini right now. Uh, you know, we were moving up on some economic data. Still some pretty light volume. You know, you had some volume there right at the end. Um, I don't know if this is almost like a counter trend bounce in a sense, right? I mean, you have a really strong high volume low um, and we're creeping back up again on pretty contracted volume, even with decent CPI data. Taking a look at the SPY right now, up about 1.57%. NQ's trading right now about 2.38%. The Dow Jones uh, right under that 40,000. Gold contract trading at $2,506. Silver at 2791 And copper, your boy, is still above the four dollar area pretty nice for copper bag holders tesla up 5.16 percent probably again on whatever they were talking about on x yesterday with uh, donald trump anything that musk does generates buzz around his stocks this is basically you're investing in musk i think uh, at least in a lot of people's minds when they get into tesla steel dynamics up about 1.12 percent and then the dollar trading down in its lower range at 102 60 fantastic disney not doing anything that one's in timeout for the foreseeable future you had 10 cent us get rocked today down 15.3 percent karaoke units revenues plummet no kidding 10 cent music entertainment group sank tuesday after the chinese music streaming service posted worse than expected expected social entertainment services revenue as it dealt with the government restrictions on the industry the company reported second quarter revenue fell 1.7% year over year to $985 million. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. We'll be back on tomorrow at 9 a.m. for the morning market kickoff with Tommy O'Brien. Then we have Basil at 10, Steve at 11, Larry Pesavento at 1, and then I will be joining you again at 3 p.m. for the Tom O'Brien Show. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.